so before I uh, I weld all this up to that last bit here now I could technically make up a little mound that would go up here and that would be my second point but I don't think it's going to support the weight very well so I'm going to go back with, with, with what was originally there now that's the bit I cut off as you can see that's that's kind of what, what it looked like and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to chop off a small small amount of it I'm going to sleeve it and I'll do the rest with my tubing now that tube will have to be cut at an angle I don't even know what that angle is um, so I'll figure that out in a minute um, but firstly I'm going to chop the two legs off and I'm just going to mark them up in case I forget which one is which um, so I'll mark them left and right so yeah let's get chopping Just like last time I made these uh, round to square kind of sleeves, cut off the, the little legs and uh, and I chamfered these. That's just for better welding. So um, yeah, so I'll beat these in and I'll measure them for the angle once I once I know the length I need. up this is my weld this is mr. Honda's weld and um, this is solid so what I did was I did one or two test welds and then I took a sledgehammer to it to make sure that the, the, the weld doesn't let go I was able to smash both parts without um, without any uh, uh, the, the weld never let go so, so I'm happy enough with that and um, I have a small problem because I need to chip in this tube as you can see there's there's a bit of a gap there um, so it's a good bit over an inch because if you think from center this pipe to center that to meet it here um, there's a, I need to do a small bit of a bend here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this pipe over a larger area and I'm going to put one of my fork tubes, my old fork tubes and I'm going to try and gently just bend it I only need it ever so slightly bend now the lower down I bend the less of a, a kink I actually need. And now I just have to remember that there is a there's a tube shoved into the middle of this, so that way I'm bending two tubes, which I'm never going to be able to do. So I kind of have to maybe put the bend in somewhere around here. Um, but it's it's ever so slightly, just to just to compensate for this. Um, so I'll show you the few tests I did. Okay, so this was one of the tests that I did. I went to bend this pipe as you can see there's a there's a good kink there. Um but I did I didn't fill this pipe with anything so I just kind of just to see whether whether propane would actually heat this enough that I could bend it. Um ideally you'd use acetylene but I don't have acetylene here. Um that gives much better heat so um yeah I have to use propane so happy enough with the propane as you can see this was one of my kind of I just welded this and as, he, as you can see I burnt a few holes I was just making sure that my uh, my plant was set up right for, for welding um, stick is not ideal for this job but sure look that's all I have so that's all I'm working with um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to 
there's a, a small little hole here inside that I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to fill so um yeah I'm gonna fill this up and then try and bend this so what I might do is I might even use something like hot glue just to just to just to seal that up um, and then fill this this tube heat it and try and bend it now I first have to measure what I'm gonna bend um, so I'll do that first and I'll mark off the point where I'm gonna start heating this up Bit of per minute. Pick it out later anyway, but just literally don't want that stuff to come out. So I don't have sand, but I do have really fine cr crushed glass. It's almost the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to fill this pipe up, and that will hopefully stop from kinking. I probably don't want to breathe this stuff in. Okay, so my pipe is in the vise. It's level. So I'm going to heat it, but I'm going to heat it over a larger area. I don't want it just, just in one area because it will kink in that case. So um, I have my old fork that I'm going to use as my lever. So that's at hand. So what I'll do is I'll heat it for a while and then once I'm happy that it's that it's hot enough, I'm gonna put in put in my uh, my tube, and I'm gonna slowly lever it while still heating it. Now I only want a tiny kink. I don't need well a tiny bend, I should say. I don't want a kink. Okay, so that that bent. Now it only bent ever so slightly, but I just want to put it back on the bike. I'll let it cool down. I'll put it back on the bike, and I'll go again if I have to. I don't want to go too too aggressive on it because uh, I can't really go back. Now, as you can see, this nice little bend, no kink, and I think that's good enough. So I'll put it on the bike now, and let's see. Now, I just want to show you this uh, tube bend, so it's, the pipe is still roasting, so I don't want to, as you can see, it comes up here now, and there's a nice little bend in that, um, spot on in the middle, so uh, all i got to do is replicate the same on the far side, and I'm in business, and I can start chopping this up and welding it, and that'll be my subframe. Okay, so here's the final result on my tube bending. Um, as you can see, it can be done using a propane torch, and most people would have access to a propane torch, so it can be done. Um, you do need a long tube though to pull it over. Um, you wouldn't do it with pliers or anything else like that. Plus, it gets so hot that you wouldn't be able to hold it. Um, yeah, this was it was this or or trying to buy the. Uh, a tube bender but most most tube benders um, wouldn't bend a, a pipe this size and um, this is 22 mil and um, you're getting into the, the bigger benders which which are in around a thousand euros so that's a it's an expensive pastime if, you, if you're going down that just for a small little little bend like this so this is a kind of a quite a nice and cheap way of, of bending a, a pipe um, yeah, so next I'm going to try and chop this up and, and get it attached to the subframe and start getting welding on the subframe. Now, I have some issues on the subframe because I haven't decided on the battery yet. Um, the battery I was going to buy uh, was an anti-gravity 4-cell battery. I'm told it's not going to crank the engine. So, 
in that case I'm gonna have to do something else so um, I have to think about the the battery tray and where to hide all this stuff but um, that's it for this video and uh, yeah while well, I'm thinking about the other stuff